my name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with CR Sotheby's International Realty here in the Truckee Tahoe area. I am showing you all these photos. I was up on Donner Summit on March 20th, 2023, and I took these photos just because I thought the houses were so amazing looking with all of the snow load on there. It is just incredible if you look, if you just start looking at them. Oh my god, that one is incredible. So I have lived up here most of my life. This is the second snowiest winter ever recorded in the area. And even though the technology for clearing driveways and roadways has really increased, it's still, the snow is still quite cumbersome for your house. Um, you really need to maintain your house. And I just thought it was really interesting to take a look at some of these houses up here. Oh my gosh can tell some people like that one they shoveled their roof and and their porch but some others haven't my favorites are the ones where the house is completely covered and there's just sort of a doorway into a snowbank so winter up here was a lot of work for the local people um, they know it was just hours and hours and hours of shoveling and sometimes without power internet, um, having road closures. It was a really interesting winter. You have to really be a tenacious mountain person, mountain loving person in order to live up here. So um, if you are thinking of buying a house up here, it's totally, it's a great idea, but you need to know that you're going to need to spend some money on snow removal in the winter. This year was quite exceptional. It's usually not this uh, snowy. However, keep, in your, keep it in your budget that you're going to need to shovel your roof and your deck so you don't have any problems with your house. Like, look at that deck. Oh, my God. Um, there's a lot of homes that had issues this winter. People had beams cracked. They had um, they, some, some propane tanks got disconnected from houses and had issues. There were ice dams. There was some flooding in homes. It's, it's quite impressive what Mother Nature can do. So if you want to buy a home up here or look at homes, there are certainly roof designs that are better than others. The more simple the roof design, the easier it is and the, more li the less likely you are to have problems. Like this roof is just a gable roof. It's called a gable roof when it just has two sides. Or a shed roof when it's just one pitch. The more cut up roof lines tend to have more issues because it's harder for the snow to get off of those roofs. Um, and it's not only the, the snow on the roof that you need to think about. Definitely remove it from your deck. If you're having any problems opening or closing doors or windows in your house, then you know that you need to remove some snow. If you're seeing drywall nails popping out of your ceiling, that's another issue. Um, there's You just really need to make sure you're on top of the maintenance here in this high snow country. That being said, it's a wonderful place to be in the mountains. It just makes you really feel alive. It's, it's just a fantastic place to live. So even though the snow is melting right now, this is also a time where you still need to be vigilant of what's going on with the snow around your house because it moves kind of like a glacier when it warms up this time of year. If you're on a slope especially, it can start to push your house. It could potentially even push it off of a foundation. So you just need to clear that snow and you'll be fine. So I've lived up here about 40, over 45 years. My husband's been building homes here his whole life. And this is, it is a very impressive winter. I think some of these pictures don't look quite as impressive as, impressive as they could be because I was driving around the neighborhood in my van. So... I was a little higher up than just head height, so um, it's not doesn't look quite as tall as the snowbanks don't look quite as tall as they actually were. But oh my gosh, it's just kind of jaw dropping when you're driving around looking at all the snow that we had this winter. That being said, all the snow is great for the fire season, keeping that at bay, replenishing the aquifers and the lakes. So if you're considering buying a home up here, I would love to help you out, help you find a home that will 
survive better in a big winter like this. I've lived here over 45 years and my husband's been building homes here his whole life and we understand construction and the certain types of homes that that are better to be in in the snow. The less cut up of the roof line, the better. A gable roof just like this one is a better idea because it's just a simple roof line. Simple is better. <laughs> We've had so many snow days here this year, meaning that the schools are closed. And at the high school, it had so much snow on it that they didn't shovel. They were worried about it collapsing. A friend of mine that has high school kids was saying, well, can't we just sign a waiver and send the kids to school wearing a helmet and an avalanche beacon? <laughs> oh. Part of the beauty of owning a home up in Serene Lakes is that it's closer to, for instance, the Bay Area. So if you're coming up, you don't need to drive over Donner Summit. You get off at the exit just before Donner Summit. It's really close to Sugar Bowl Ski Area, Royal Gorge Ski Area. A lot of these homes actually back up to um, the, the trails that Royal Gorge is located on. Serene Lakes is just like the name suggests. It's incredibly serene and quiet and peaceful here. It's a really, really lovely place to have a cabin up in the mountains. It is just so fun to look at some of these driveways. It's like, oh my God, there is a door in that little hole in the back of this picture. Same thing in this one. Oh my gosh, it's just incredible how much snow we had. I just love it. it just it made you feel alive. So if you're thinking of coming up and looking at property, this is a great time of year to do so because you can kind of see what's going to happen to the home when there's a lot of snow on it. I would be happy to help you out. My name is Chris Hinkle. I am with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty. And feel free to reach out and give me a call. My number is 530-412-2644. Or you can shoot me an email. Look at my YouTube videos. I have a lot of them. I look forward to seeing you up here in the mountains.